Gamer Gamer Dunn channel here on YouTube. I'm Gamer Donnie, and this is American Truck Simulator. We're just back here at the back of the trailer taking a morning piss. Ah, oh, feels good. Like pissing outside. 150, 150 in the morning. But anyway, we'll come back here and do a pretty trip. We got to uh, check the lights and shit anyway, right? Yeah, they all look good. Tires are aired up good. Shit's not falling off. Mud flaps are attached. Handle is not on the side. Marker lights, airlines, front of the truck. Everything seems to be there, nothing missing really. I'm sure our handle's stowed away. Yeah, it's stowed away as it can be. There's not really no holder on it, but. Holder. Those look good. Shouldn't have pulled our fifth wheel while we're sleeping. Yeah, it looks locked in there. Air's all hooked up and everything, we're good to go. Let's uh, hit the road. We got a load of hay. We're going to pick up. We're back in Mont Rose. We got sent home for a while. Starting to get a little crazy out in the truck. They decided to do time for us to break. So we took it. Okay, here we go. Alright. And we're going to need some fucking fuel. Let's do this. So you get the uh, Cummins ISX 15 with a high shift top speed in it. Good God. I'm trying to get my RPM lights to work on my steering wheel and I uninstalled the Logitech program, whatever the hell you want to call the damn thing. And our shit's all fucked. I mean, it's, I feel like I'm about to rip my desk in half turning this thing. I'm not kidding. Yeah, and that does nothing. That's all right, we'll manage. Turn right. Just pretend we're driving old Mac car. Got to put your foot up on a dash and crank on those damn things. They just would Keep not right turn unless she's and moving. Then turn right. Turn right. Stokes ain't no joke. It says like two cups of coffee. It means buy you up for the whole entire night. A little bit of French vanilla in there. Oh, I'm go down and get me some coffee at the truck stop. Better than Starbucks in my book. I never really liked Starbucks anyways. The mocha chocolates and uh, all the weird shit. Co 
coffee, sugar, creamer, no fresh vanilla. Good to go. That's all you need. I'm not going this way when I need to go the other way. Don't get your GPS. Four thousand to forty-nine thousand pounds of straw. It's good to be back in the open. We ain't blew the gearbox out of it yet. That's probably gonna happen. Ooh, get some mustaches and the mustachios. I have a nice Peterbilt. I'm oh, not the Freightliner. Fuck. Tanker Yanker. It's a tanker, tanker, yanker. for subscribing, liking, and watching my videos. I do appreciate it. I don't push the whole subscribe thing like other YouTubers do. I'm just here to, here to have a good time. a new route. Alright, we are off. You know what? People don't really realize it, but hauling toilet papers is a pretty dangerous load to be hauling. A trailer of toilet paper would just go up in flames like just in, within seconds and it'd just be massive. Massive fireball back there. You'd have to rip the trailer apart to get it put out. And it wouldn't ignite so easily. Something as a trailer brake dragon would Both definitely do it. Or bearing overheating. Toilet paper, I hold a couple loads. I 
hold a lot of uh, recycled paper bills. Hold a lot of mulch. That sucked. Especially during the winter time because that shit freezes on their trailer. It's like a solid hard as a rock, man. Just a pain in the ass to get it out. But the only thing they got is the freaking the tilt table. We drive up on it and it tilts your truck up in there and like it's supposed to dump it out. The one it's frozen and like 10 degrees outside and just doesn't work very good. Yeah, those were fun. Two o'clock in the morning out there with a shovel shovel and mulch out of a damn trailer. I told him finally just told him I said, Hey you guys the shovel bullshit just ain't gonna work. You guys go and do something. So push that mulch up over there and build a ramp so you can drive that bobcat in there and scrape that shit out or something. I'm done shoveling. Like, well you can't just leave. I was like, Well hey, I can just leave and I will. But if you want your mulch, you better get it out. So I'll wait until it thaws out and dump it somewhere alongside the fucking road. I don't care. Take it to the house. Some of the loads are just plain bullshit. Go straight on. People are so rude and they don't even care nothing to help you or anything. It's like hauling tires. You had to pull, it's like pulling teeth to get the people to come out to the back of the trailer to mark, check off the tire that they ordered. And to make sure that the right tires are there. Like, oh, well, we're eating lunch. We ain't going to do nothing until you get done eating lunch. <laughs> I'm rolling the tires out the back of the trailer then. Said, well, you got to sit there eating your lunch. And the tires will be stacking up. But after I get done, I'm leaving. Whether you want them checked off or not. Just don't realize how massive a load of tires should be just a pain in the ass you got five Go six seven on. stops people just don't give a shit anymore that's all it is everybody's out for their own When I used to work for the security company, we'd uh, 
watch over the RVs as they're being, you know, took from the factory to going out to transport. They'd have like a yard that holds the RVs. They'd come from the factory, put them in the yard, and then the drivers would come pick up the RVs, leave, and take them to wherever they need to go. Poor lady out there. What was it? I don't know. Nine. Ten. Probably about ten thirty. Pouring rain. She's out there fighting with her RV because she can't get the electric legs to go up all the way. Nobody else would care to even stop out, stop, get out and try to help her. They just drive right on through. Check the paperwork, and we're gone. Don't care. Go straight on. I went out there to my shift ended at ten. This was like at ten twenty. I finally couldn't take any more, so I went out there and uh I helped her. Took my truck and pulled it up on there beside it so I could get a flashlight, you know, the tools I need. Spent I don't know, twenty maybe 30 minutes and I had everything working perfectly again just had they didn't have some of the wires hooked up in the right spots she tried up and down to give me money for doing it I told her I did not want no money the only thing I asked for is if you see somebody that needs help help them Pass it on down the line. I came in the next day and apparently she left. I left before she could give me the money is what, what she told the other guard. Left 40 bucks there for me. Like, yeah, she left. She's going to give you this money, but you left before she could give back. Well, I told her I didn't want the money. Go wasn't doing it for my money. Doing it for kindness. That's just the kind of type of person I am, I guess. I'll go out of my way and bend over backwards for people I don't even know, never met before in my life. Always put others before me, which has hurt me in the past, but pick yourself up, come back for some more, try it again. Damn emergency braking. Go straight on. Keep left and then exit left.
like another example. There's a down there, down in Clexico driving truck, owner operator. There's another truck that was there before me. He'd been there, I don't know, biggest part of the day. We ended up sleeping through the night. Uh, got up next morning, I see him out there working on his truck. Got the hood up and the side off, messing around with the batteries. Yeah, the loose battery connection terminal. I didn't charge the batteries all the way, so when he's sleeping overnight, refrigerator and everything like that that's running in the truck, drain the battery dead. Instead of making them say, no, take care of yourself, call your tow truck, have them come out, jump start, pull start, whatever the bullshit they're going to do. I said, oh, I'll take you over to the parts store and we'll get you a set of jumper cables. We'll come back and we'll charge up the batteries. And Tighten up that loose cable and get you, get you going again. That dude bought me breakfast, bought me lunch, said, oh, you want to drive my truck? You can drive my truck. Had a nice W900. don't see that anymore. It used to be like one big family. Now all you do is just hear trash talk on the fucking CB all the time. People cutting each other down. And calling them names and everything under the sun. I did take out that fucking low boy mod though. That is gone. I will not be using that mod ever again. It's a good mod. Overpopulated into AI traffic with it. Just fucking saturated. here pretty soon. Truckings are worse than Swift. Wait a minute. They're not saying that. Burger sling.
the buses get for always cutting me off. Turned right. or store or something huh? look at that old piece of shit that looks like a swift training truck right there day in the neighborhood, in the neighborhood, in the neighborhood. Hello, Charlie. Ding, ding, ding. Got you some hay, hey. It's all over now. Little hay munchers, don't you cry. I'm gonna skip the parking just this time. 250 miles. Five hours, 24 minutes, 41.9 gallons of fuel burn. $15,932 earned. That's a nice little run. So, oh, hope you guys liked it. Let's see if my new uh, thing works here. Don't forget to like. Yeah. Subscribe. Share. And leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.